In this video, we're going to focus on a scalar multiplication of matrices. So let's begin with matrix A. Let's say it's 5, negative 2, 7, 3. And matrix B, we're going to say it's negative 4, 6, negative 2, and 9. Now, let's find the values of 3A and 4B. So 3A, all we need to do is multiply matrix A by 3. So every element in this matrix, we're going to multiply it by 3. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 3 is 9. And that's it. So for 4B, it's just going to be 4 times all of the elements in matrix B. So 4 times negative 4, that's negative 16. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 times 9 is 36. And that's scalar multiplication. Now, you also need to be familiar with operations uh, associated with matrices that involve scalar multiplication. And we're going to go over some examples relating to that. Now, let's say if we want to find the value of 5a minus 6b. How can we do that? So we got to multiply matrix A by 5. And then there's going to be a subtraction sign. And then we're going to multiply matrix B by 6. Or negative 6. If you multiply by 6, the negative sign will remain here. But if you multiply by negative 6, you could change it and put a plus sign, which I think it's easier. So first, let's multiply this matrix by 5. So 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 3 is 15. And then let's put a plus sign and multiply everything in this matrix by negative 6. So negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24, negative 6 times 6 is negative 36, negative 6 times negative 2 is 12, and negative 6 times 9 that's going to be negative 54. So now, all we need to do is add the two matrices. And this will give us the value of 5a minus 6b. So let's add the elements in the first row and in the first column. 25 plus 24, that's 49. And then let's add the elements in the first row, second column. Negative 10 plus negative 36 is negative 46. Now let's move on to second row, first column. 35 plus 12 is 47. And then finally, the second row, second column. 15 plus negative 54 is negative 39. And so that's it for this problem. Now let's try another example. Let's say we have matrix C, and it has the numbers 4, 6, negative 2, 3, 7, 8, and matrix D, 5, negative 2, 3, negative 7, 4, and negative 9. So go ahead and perform this operation. Find a matrix that corresponds to 3C plus 7D. Feel free to try that. So we have 3 times matrix C. And then plus 7 times matrix D. Feel free to pause the video if you want to work on this example. So let's multiply element C, I mean matrix C, by 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. And then 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. And then we're going to have 9, 21, and 24. And then let's multiply every element in matrix D by 7. So 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times negative 2, that's negative 14. 
7 times 3 is 21. 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. And then we'll have 28 and negative 63. Now let's add the two matrices to get 3C plus 7D. So first let's add 12 and 35. 12 plus 35 is 47. And then let's add 18 and negative 14, which will give us 4. And then negative 6 plus 21, so that adds up to 15. And then we have 9 and negative 49, which is negative 40. 21 plus 28, that's 49. And then 24 plus negative 63, or 24 minus 63, that's going to be negative 39. And that's it. So now you know how to perform operations with uh, matrices. Thanks for watching.